Good morning. It's Wednesday, the 26th of July, and this is Coffee with God. If you have your Bible, turn to Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Genesis 2, verse 15, from 15, 16, 17, verse. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to cultivate it and tend it. The Lord God commanded the man, saying, From the tree, any tree of the garden you may freely eat, but from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for on the day that you eat from it you will certainly die. Now, we, we know about the, the fall. We know that Adam and Eve both ate of this tree that they weren't supposed to eat. But I don't want to focus on, on that. I want to focus on you may freely eat of any tree of the garden. God places Adam in the garden of Eden. He says to him, I've got a task for you. I'm not just putting you here to do nothing. I'm putting you here to be active, to make a difference, to make an impact. There's so much in that for you and for me. We're not just at work to to draw a salary check. We're not just in a family to fill a role. We're there to be active, to make an impact, to make a difference. Uh, and that every day. So God places him in the Garden of Eden, where everything's available. He says, I want you to care for it. I want you to tend for it. But then you may freely eat. Now I want you to think about concentration camps and chap by the name of Viktor Frankl, who uh, in the midst of incredible, incredible um, hardship in the Second World War German concentration camps, realized that they could take away all of his freedoms except how he chose to react to what they were doing to him. And that freedom they could never take away. And I want to say to you in the same sense, God could with his power, with his authority, could be an absolute controller. He could he could control absolutely everything about us. The problem with that is he couldn't make us love him because forced love is not love. And that's why God gives us a freedom to choose. And you and I may think that the circumstances, the situation that we find ourselves in financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically, that we're a victim and that we're trapped and that, and that uh, oh, we, we can't do anything about it. But the scripture tells us two things. God creates us to make a difference, to make an impact. And he gives us a free will. He gives us a choice to say, listen, I would have that you choose life. I would have that you choose to be productive, that you make an impact. Don't be a victim of your circumstances. Don't, don't say that you are so helpless, so hopeless, that you cannot do something today that will positively impact someone around you and yourself. You see, you have the freedom to choose because God places us where he places us. He placed Adam in the garden of you, he places you, he places me where he wants us. And our circumstances may not be the garden of Eden, but he gives us a role to fulfill and he gives us a choice to make. Won't you exercise that today? Don't, don't deprive yourself of what God has given you in your base humanity to exercise in this day to his glory. I trust that you have a wonderful Wonderful Wednesday.